A very good Monday afternoon to you, YouTubers. This is Voice of the Composer. Welcome back to my video series. Uh, you know how it is here. We keep it raw. We keep it real. Uh, talked about what it's like to write music as an amateur composer. There's no pretty boy angles here. We just give it to you straight. Talk about why we love to write music as amateur composers. And today we're going to talk about the stringed instruments of the orchestra, the violin, viola, cello, and double bass. That makes up the string section. And I'll be walking you through the ranges. These are the general ranges of the instruments that you'll be working with when, you, when you're uh, putting this in your orchestration. Although some of these instruments can go slightly higher than what I have written here or possibly slightly below uh, what I have written. Uh, but it's generally advised to uh, write within or just above or below the staff uh, just to keep things in check. So let's talk about the violin. Its lowest note is G below the treble clef, and its highest note, theoretically, is B above the treble clef. Although, like I said, you can go slightly higher than that. And that's when you start getting into these things called harmonics, and, and I'll be doing a different video about that in the future. Next, we have the viola, and its lowest note is C in the bass, which on the bass clef, on that staff there, would be the second space. So that would be low C in the bass up to, ju uh, to E just above middle C for the viola. Then we have the cello. Its lowest note is the very low C in the bass, below the uh, bass clef, up to uh, middle C, although I've seen it written where it, it can play D or possibly E uh, in, the, in that upper range because the cello does have a nice tenor range. Then we have the, the double bass, and its lowest note is the very low E in the bass, and it can go up uh, to G in the, uh, in the treble. So that has a very wide range for the double bass. Keep in mind with this instrument, though, it is notated one octave higher than written, and that's just to avoid excessive ledger lines. It's considered a transposing instrument, although it doesn't have that re uh, designation written with it when you see it on a score, uh, like it does with, let's say, E-flat alto sax, where you know you have to... Uh, uh, you have to transpose up six steps for the saxophone or alto sax to keep it in line with concert pitch. So just some things to note about double bass, but that's its range, generally speaking. Uh, very low E up to G in the treble. Then we have some different playing styles, uh, detaché, legato, pizzicato, and staccato. And detaché, as the name suggests, is to play those notes detached. Uh, so you would play it, uh, you, you would just play those notes separately. Then we have legato, and legato means to slur or to play those notes together. So we get that nice song-like uh, uh, character uh, when you're playing, uh, playing these instruments. Then we have pizzicato, where the instrument is plucked. And uh, I have a whole note written here, which I was, which I was surprised on. I didn't know you could do this with pizzicato, uh, playing a whole note. But obviously you can. You can definitely do pizzicato with, with a whole note. And uh, that just means to, once again, pluck the strings. So if anybody out there is a string player, I'd love to hear from you. Uh, definitely leave comments below. Give us some advice. Tell us what uh, what's the highest range you're able to work in comfortably. Uh, what's the lowest range you're able to work in comfortably. Any advice for us amateur composers out there about where we should be placing the instruments. I generally found that, uh, that like I said before, that if you place these just above or just below the staff or stay within that range, uh, you're generally going to be okay. And finally, we have this uh, style known as uh, staccato. And staccato works similarly to detaché, except the notes are a lot quicker. They're, they're just basically a quick hit on the note. So it's ba, 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 ba would basically be the hit of that note. And it will be designated with that dot underneath of each of those. So you're playing those separately, but it's a very quick hit on the note. So if you enjoy the video, definitely let me know. Uh, like I said, leave comments below. You can click that like button. Subscribe or hit me up on Instagram at hashtag Jason Composes. Thank you for being with me. This is Voice of the Composer. I'll catch you next time. Peace out, everybody.